What is up, everybody? We are back again with another character reveal. Um, unfortunately, I am a little under the weather, so this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be on camera because I don't want people to see how wrecked I am right now. So, uh, the latest character reveal is Shaheen. Um, much like Yoshi's trailer, this kind of lost all its wind in its sails. <laughs> the pun is going to be hard on that one later. Um, anyway, so, yeah, it's like, oh. Last week, we there was like the influencer reveal stuff. Somebody uploaded the Shaheen move list. So we had a pretty good idea of what exactly we're in store for, for Shaheen and Tekken 8, right? Um, like there was a few cancels. Uh, we saw that his throw was a white life stealer. Um, he still had his awesome down forward one. He had a couple transitions from like the mid kick into the punch into his sneak stance. He had a couple sneak stance moves. Um, he had like a flying Superman punch that he could also cancel into like a little hop, which was really cool. Um, and then we saw a glimpse of, oh, well, not a glimpse, but we actually saw the ridiculous rage art. <laughs> that absolutely does not make any sense whatsoever. So yeah, uh, let's hop right into this. All right, so let's see Shaheen. He, he never was my cup of tea. He always felt like he was supposed to fill Lee's spot when the original game came out, right? In Tekken 7. And then Lee came out and Lee was a better Lee than Shaheen was. So kind of like Shaheen fell back into the shadows. And he never really got a lot of play from what I saw, right? He, he, he kind of always was kind of plain. This new outfit, though, is really freaking good, though. Yeah, okay, so that, that's a new Superman punch. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot. That's really fast. Okay. So that's a move that looks like his, like, Dragon Off's down too. And, okay, there we go. So that that uh, punch parry is what deletes um, white health. And there's the hop cancel. He's going to be so tricky, man. Like, everything comes really fast. It's like, I'll, like, during the breakdown, I'll go a little further in depth of my thoughts on this, but, like, he just looks like a mix-up monster now. Okay, a forward three still, counter hit launch. Axe kick, heat burst. Oh, that was a low heat smash. Ooh, I wonder if he has a mid one. Okay, so in heat, that jumping move is a guard break, and it gives him that free throw afterwards. So he can go ham on the buttons, build up white life like crazy. And then in heat... Okay, hop kick is the same. And then this rage art, man. I don't get what Namco was thinking. It's so hokey dokey. <laughs> that makes zero sense, man. Uh, so yeah, so like they made him a whole lot more offensive, which is kind of like their, their theme, right? But he can go ham on the buttons, have you block everything. And then within heat, do that mid guard break, get that guaranteed throw, and delete all that white life that he built, that he made you build up. Like, is, that, that, like that's going to have to be in your in the back of your mind whenever you fight him. What is going to be the counterplay for that? Because that is absurdly strong. Like, absurdly strong. So, all right. So, let me hop into Resolve, do my quick little edits, and I'll be right back. All right. And we are back so let's hop right into this okay so there's a superman punch right which is hella plus on block <laughs> and it chips and then what is that so it's like superman punch four one sneak slide and then into the big like stature kick that hits grounded oh it's also a heat engager okay so heat engager chip on block and it's cancelable wow All right, so it looks like a sidestep two, that new move. Yeah, sidestep two is a low, and then he does the wall standing two, which is plus, right? So sidestep two, recovers crouch by the looks of it. Wall standing two, chip on block, plus, and he does a punch parry. Claudio goes into it, obviously, and then gets thrown. And the throw deletes white life. 
This man is like super stacked now, huh? Shaheen's gonna be scary. Okay, down for two, three, snake stance. Oh, he can do the, the surfboard mid combo to side switch. Oh, that's cool. So down forward two, three, snake stance, surfboard, crossover, that tornadoes, snake one, four. Oh, no, that's a three. Yeah, one, three, maybe. That's pretty cool to be able to side switch like that mid combo without having to do like some crazy, like strict timing move. Pretty sick. Okay, while standing four, running two, and there's the up forward one canceled. That thing is gonna be super tricky, man. <laughs> up forward one cancels into the slide. So while standing four, running two, up forward one cancel. Claudio anticipates and steps, <laughs> and then he goes with the slide. Oh man, this guy's gonna be super scary. A good Shaheen's going to be in your head almost the entire round. It's going to be exhausting. All right, there. Kaz goes with the hell sweep. Shaheen counters with an up forward three. And then heat smash, which is the axe kick. Oh, down back three, four. And then heat smash. Oh, he burst, then heat smash. So down back three, four, tornadoes. He burst, which is the second hit of his, was it 4-3? His old 4-3, if he still has it. And then low heat smash, which is very Street Fighter VI Rashid-like. That's such a cool little heat smash. All right, Cass goes for one, one, two. That was his old forward, forward, four. Maybe they changed the input. And there we go. So that's that's going to be the main threat when he's in heat. While standing two. Because by the animation, it does a guard break. So he gets a free attack afterwards. And on block also does chip. Just to add more insult in, <laughs> to the injury, right? So you block, take chip, and guard broken. And then he gets the throw. Which I forgot what the input is on it. That thing's like back two, I think, right? Or no, forward back two or something. And that deletes white life. So he can go ham on buttons, man. He's going to do like 25% damage, 30% maybe in white life. And then he deletes it because you blocked. <laughs> That's going to be insane. Okay, so okay, so that, whatever that was is a fast heat engager. And f was it four two three now? Tail now tornadoes. Yeah, down, four two three tornadoes. And, oh, and then he does a what is it like a crouch dash or full crouch down forward two by the looks of it. That does that mini semi tornado that lets you kind of like get an extra hit. There we go. That. Huh? Because all like. Those moves that cause that property in juggles makes you fall slightly slower. Gravity's still in play, of course, right? So pushback is going to be an issue, but it lets you connect something meaty afterwards. And for Shaheen, it's the surfboard. And then here, the hop kick is still there. And the most ridiculous super rage art in the game so far. Like... This one and Leo's are like battling for top two in the S tier of ridiculousness for Rage Arts. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, overall, he looks scary. He still looks kind of dry. Like his base moves look kind of dry also based off the move list video that came out last week. Um, but the main additions is that white life delete, that guard break, and that up forward one cancel. Like those three things are just completely flipping his um his game plan from the Tekken 7 version. It's gonna be very scary to block. And you're not you're not gonna know where to block because he can enforce it with those crazy up forward one cancels. Cause like 
if the Shaheen is doing a 4-1 cancels all day, you're always going to step. But he just has to stop doing it one time, and you're going to eat that Superman punch and get heat engager. And then you're you're in heat. And when, well, in a heat, anti-heat situation where he can just delete your white life with a flick of, a, of the wrist, really, right? So definitely a scary character. It's going to require a lot of labbing. Just to ch like just to figure out what the counterplay is for the white life delete in rage, right? Super scary. Very interested. Getting even more hyped for this game to come out in January. So, yeah, guys, if you're not following, uh, don't forget to follow, subscribe, like the video if you like it, and I like always. I appreciate your time. Catch you next time. Peace.